Go to tapjars.com to learn dreams, engage my services, and support the channel. Now let's add like a camera rig for it. Now the problem with using the default one when you have like a possessable character. If I go, yeah, possessable to possess. So as it goes around the edge, uh, the camera doesn't like go around with it uh, because the camera is always upright as well. So, so I'm going to import my camera rig thing and want it to be a third person camera and the only thing it needs from the puppet is this chip this uh, this tag so I'll just copy that tag out here and then I can delete that and then we got to make sure that tag is uh, on that position so that's just triangle on there and this is the point at which it's going to rotate around so if we use L1 and triangle with the grid on then we've got this grid and then we can grab that press triangle to snap it to the grid and want to be like in that head position there and now that um, this rig teleports to that position so if I try that whoa um, I'll just tweak something I'll turn on x-ray and tweak the camera so that it's on cut mode so when I uh, it won't make any difference actually playing the game but now if I go to playtest mode it will just immediately snap to it so I can look around um, it tries its best not to clip into the ground if we actually just have this affect the that thing as well we'll just test it in test mode actually and see if the camera rotates with it looks like it is so let's go into test into play mode and now the whole rig is rotating with it pretty well oh now it's doing that oh because this rig rotates itself like that to look left and right so this this look at rotator over here is kind of messing with that so um, we'll need to tweak it a bit select that cube first and then copy that down so that it only selects only copies that cube and then we'll have this whole bit rotate using a motor bolt Get the bolts motor bolt so I'll put that on the this side make sure that's in the center press triangle to lock it in so we'll set this to 30 delete that and we want that to affect the speed now that should work same as normal it's backwards but it's working and even if we're over here it's still working so that's awesome as I say it is backwards so we'll just make this instead of positive we'll edit it and put a minus in front of it Pushing left push the camera right okay so I'm looking left in front of me we we'll probably limit it so that you can't look straight like that so what I'll do is I'll have this over here and we're starting off looking ahead that's better it's this that's actually the uh, speed so we're starting looking ahead Just try that. That's better. Yeah, that feels about right. Maybe when we're looking down, we zoom out a bit. If we look down, I'm going to move the camera out and make, maybe make it a bit fisheye so we can see more of the stuff. So then it's like an easy way of um, getting a bigger overview. So we want a timeline. So as I look down, the time goes up into there so that means as I look down the timeline goes towards the end so as we 
go from like here onwards maybe um, then we're going to move the camera further out and have a wider field of view and I'll just expand it on here drag that to the end and make it have a fader thing to the end maybe actually have some smoothing ah yeah that kind of thing but I want it to be a bit smoother as we go into it so uh, I'll have that be the final position and have one that's normal and then use a blend mode so that it's kind of smoother and I'll make it have more smoothing maybe it's yeah so it's the blend that actually stops it working so uh, I'll just move this here and have it be powered by this value slider and then put that there and have that go to full and this one is has those ramps on it so that should work yeah that's better so we'll probably have it be quicker on the way down but if you like look down and then leave it for a bit it zooms out and then when you zoom back when you look more normal and it zooms back in thanks for watching i hope you learned something interesting go to patreon.com slash to learn something new every day